I got little Billy in the shop. Sun just peeked out. It was raining pretty good here just a little while ago. Uh, I cut the core out of the muffler to get the rattling baffle out. Um, there's no other way to get it out other than cut the end of the pipe off. So that's what I did. But it sounds really, really good now. There's still one baffle in there. But I want you guys to see the bright work. And I'm, I'm going to intentionally move around kind of slowly so that uh, Mr. Arcy can enjoy. But I got all the chrome cleaned up. All the bright work's done. Wax the tank, but I need to go over it again. Realign the headlight, it was way off. But got the shock uppers all purty and clean. Fender, wheels. It was just like I hoped, all the chrome cleaned up really, really nice. Even most of the aluminum in the cases cleaned up nice. Now, one thing that I don't like about Hondas is the location of the key switch. You see where that hole is, that's where the key switch would have been. So I took a little lesson off uh, how Big Bill was done and decided Little Billy was going to get the same treatment. So I commenced to cutting piece of scrap stainless that I grabbed from my local steel yard. I don't know what they were trying to make but these were backwards. They were supposed to be curved this way. So I got that nice piece of surgical stainless for freebie. Moving slow, moving slow. I ordered bulbs. I now have a neutral light. I'll show you that. And I have my turn signal light as well. High beam's the only one that I don't have right now. So we'll get that. And so the little lesson that I took off of Big Bill was making a bracket to go on the stem. And you guys will notice that the key is turned quite a bit. That's because I wanted to be sure that I tucked the wires right here in towards the stem so that they wouldn't make contact with the gas tank when I was turning the steering column. Steer, steering wheel, steering handlebars, that's it, handlebars. Uh, something else was I ordered two keys for a little Billy and they were the wrong blanks. So while I was at the locksmith picking up 10 Keto-like locks for the covered trailers, um, I got to looking on uh, online and lo and behold, by taking the code that's on this key and on the ignition, there were two new old stock ones that I found for $11, free shipping. Can't beat that. I paid more than that for the two key blanks. So I gave Diane the two key blanks and just reminded her next time I needed keys that uh, she can just cut them for free for me. But just made it out of stainless, cut it and contoured it to try to make it look half decent. I don't think it looks too bad. And I even remembered to space the holes out farther than what they should be because I knew when I clamped these down, it would end up, you can see this bow here, it would clamp down and has kind of a little bulbous area there, would push that up and not stress the uh, bolts going into the aluminum. So what does Motor Billy sound like now with the rattling baffle out of it? Now let's clamp the 
hammer right here. And we'll see how well the sound does. I guess I should have said uh, volume alert before I did that. So, I just said volume alert. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know who all I just woke up. If I woke you up, maybe it was time to wake up. So, there's a little Billy all cleaned up. Uh, one other thing that I did do was, is remember the chain guard had acid overflow on it that had eaten through the paint so I went through and reshot that cleaned that up and it looks good now I think better than it did <clears throat> not really much else to say other than I've put sixty eight miles on it and let me grab my phone here and I will show you guys what my gas mileage is. I've got this neat and nifty little app on my phone. Let me get into the right one. Okay. 94.2 miles per gallon. I bought a half a gallon of gas and put 47.1 miles on it. Because I filled it, wrote it, and then filled it again to check the mileage. 94.2 miles to a gallon. And I just got that app, so the bill is also going to get the same treatment to figure out what kind of mileage it is getting. This one does not have an odometer. So, knowing that it gets about 100 miles to a gallon. I know that I can go over 100 miles, a little over 100 miles, and not have to worry about putting gas in it. So, you guys might also notice the windshield is off. Uh, I took it off just to check out the experience riding down the road with it off. And windscreen will be going back on. <laughs> kind of stressed and strained my neck a little bit. But that wraps it up for this installment of Little Billy. Oh, almost, almost. A little bit more on Little Billy. This color, and it is the original paint, this color was only offered in 1975. Apparently, this sat for a long time without being titled and the title was lost or something to that effect. Somebody else did all the legwork to get the title for it. When they did, they saw that the manufacture date was 12 of 74, so they titled it as a 74. It is not. It was, uh, there was only one paint color available per year. So a 74 would have been a burnt orange color. This is the 1975 color. So, having said that, I'm going to add a little snippet on the end of this video. I had a question about the gear cases that were in the back of the uh, big trailer that got left behind. So, if you guys would please, if you enjoyed this, please give it a big old thumbs up. Sir Arcy, if it was a little more tolerable to watch this video let me know and I will try to make sure that I'm not doing a lot of spinning around real quick sometimes it's kinda of hard when I have a lot to cover and trying to do it in a reasonable amount of time so please tickle that like button for me this is your friendly neighborhood Zippo I promise you I will see you guys on the next one
Hey gang, another question was asked about the cases inside this trailer. So let's take a look at them. Looks like a convertible case for a twin engine. But <clears throat> there's those cases that were questioned. 